My name is MC Snores, and I'm in the studio today with DJ Snooze. Yeah. We about to break down a little song we like to call Franklin. Everybody talks about Hollywood, West Coast, East Coast, New York, it's all good. I'm gonna bring it to you at another rate. Yo, Alright, they want to make this video for a while. People constantly ask me about what they should store for their kids or grandkids. I keep these uh, on the shelf. These are for November. Had these for probably about three, four months. So they, uh, they set for a while. Um, but something fun for your kids or grandkids during a power outage or any situation where you have no power or no way to cook um, unless uh, you got maybe an open fire with a Coleman oven. I'm using the uh, propane cooker. Uh, it takes propane. Make up some pizzas. Let them make them up. They have fun making them. And uh, keeps their mind off of say no electricity or something going on or camping or whatever. Um, you can put all kinds of stuff on it. Cheese. You can also use the uh, Parmesan cheese in the shaker. And you got cheese that sets on the shelf for a while. It's got a long life. Also today found this bacon. Uh, shelf stable bacon. It's ready to eat. It's Tyson. Um, it is uh, pork salt, pork uh, bacon. You see it. It's got a long shelf life like six months. So it's something you could store uh, in case power goes out and munch on bacon. If you're a big bacon fan, it's awesome. Resealable. You can uh, put it in your cooler after you open it, put it back in the fridge. Have bacon for a couple days. Yes, I found it. Yes. Nice. Okay, so I've got one pizza in the oven. We're setting about 350. been in there probably about 10-15 minutes. Looks like it's ready to come out. So uh, we'll bring her on out. Oh, look at there. Nice little pizza. Cooks up real good in these Coleman ovens. So we'll uh, slap another one on in there. So just a little idea of something you could keep in your preps for uh, any situation for kids. That way they have fun. Um, keeps their mind occupied. But uh, there you go. And uh, I'll be back with some more. Okay, so while the pizzas are cooking, I'll give you a tour of the garden real quick. Picked plenty of, of beans and peas. Been picking tomatoes. Tomatoes are doing really well. Yes, the ground is awesome, thanks to my hula ho, ho. Got a lot of banana peppers on there, jalapeno peppers in the back. See me pickling the cucumbers, so we've gotten a lot off those. Lettuce is about done at the time. Pick what's left, cut it out and plant some more. Onions, we picked the crap out of. Cabbage is coming in real well. Potatoes are doing real well. This section here, I took the first, the top layer of grass off and uh, planted. You can see everything's doing well. Didn't do anything else to it. There's my turnips, radishes, and uh, beets. Doing real well. The uh, squash has produced quite a bit. Doing real well. Tomatoes doing real well. Broccoli, more potato box. So, get back to cooking, and I'll be back with you. All right, I just gotta tell you, this bacon right out of the package, it's awesome. I love it. Those of you who love bacon, I suggest you get you five or six packs because you're going to eat the first one. Just right up out of there. It's really good. Oh, I'm telling you. Bacon. 
is awesome. Awesome. And there's the second one out. Oh, yeah, with faking. Okay, so that was the last one. Pizza's finished. Tastes good. Just a little dollar of what you uh, store for your kids or grandkids. These uh, Coleman ovens are great for cooking stuff like that around kids. Um, recommend everybody to grab one. We've cooked all kinds of stuff in it. Use the butane uh, burner. Works out good. Or you can put it on your grill or your Coleman stove. But it's awesome. Alright, thanks. Bye.